So we say goodbye to Bells Beach, we hit the road and we headed north to Lake Yildon. Heading north means two things. First, we're heading into trout fishing country. And second, we're heading into the cold, icy, snowy mountains. So we thought it'd be smart to get ourselves prepared. When we made it to Lake Ilden, we thought we'd try our luck and have a cast. But unlike Will, I don't really have the patience for fishing. I guess I get a little bored. So Will put in a call and arranged a hook up to a local fisherman. He said he knows a spot where even we are guaranteed to catch fish. And it turned out to be a trout farm. I work with a program with the Australian Trout Foundation. We work out the fishing pressure and if we had natural disasters from fires and so forth, we'll build the stocks up. After showing us around the farm, the boys are super keen to know more about the Combi Old Applejack. And this is what they had to say about bonds. That, that's a very good effort for our company. Hopefully you'll be around for another 200 years so we can enjoy them uh, singlets and underwear. Hilden is probably the capital of freshwater fishing in the whole of Australia. The competition was on. Who could catch the biggest fish for dinner? And the fish were definitely biting. They just kept the rod up high. So this, this is a good eating size. That's what we call a brook trout. <laughs> I reckon it might be dinner. The guys at Hilden Trout Farm were super cool and let us camp out back and even put on a bonfire. So to say thank you, we pulled out the lobster and prepared the most amazing lobster and trout dinner. The trout we kept it simple, just some lemon and some spring onions. With fish this good, you don't need much. We barbecued the lobster and folded through some of the house smoked trout pate with some lemon. Another awesome day but a lot of driving left. Tomorrow we head up and over Kosciuszko National Park and in little old Applejack it's sure to put it to the test. <laughs>